It is a divisive time in American politics, but there are four lawmakers who have crossed party lines to get Americans out of their homes and into their communities. They have introduced a bill that would provide in-state tuition for AmeriCorps volunteers, their spouses, and their children in an opportunity that is already offered to military families. This proposal also offers hiring incentives for those willing to serve. That means the military, yes, but it also means government, uh, philanthropic, uh, and faith-based groups as well. So let's bring in two of these four members of Congress to talk about this legislation. We have Congresswoman Chrissy Houlihan, who is an Air Force veteran. She also uh, worked uh, through Teach for America. And we have Congressman Michael Waltz, who is a combat decorated Green Beret, actually the first Green Beret in Congress. Um, thank you so much to both of you uh, for coming on to talk about this. You clearly, as you brought in this idea of service here beyond the military, beyond military service, are stressing that there isn't enough service, and I wonder why you think that is a problem that you want to change. Congressman Waltz, to you first. Well, look, I think there's all kinds of goodness that came from previous generations, that came from the draft. Uh, this bill does not propose to make it mandatory. We're incentivizing it in the ways that, that uh, you laid out, Brianna. But you know, what did young people learn in the past? They learned leadership, followership, teamwork, discipline. And importantly, it helped us see past our differences in that you brought together all aspects of American society, whether you were from inner city or from a farm in, in Indiana or a Jewish kid from Brooklyn, you know, you didn't see race, religion, creed. You certainly don't in the foxhole. Now, how do we broaden that uh, to where, whether you're serving in national parks or you're serving in inner city tutoring, to get back to that goodness that we had in previous generations? And Congresswoman Houlihan, it's, it's so interesting to hear from you on this because you have served uh, in the military and also in other ways. Yeah, and I think that service comes in all forms and it couldn't be more important right now where our nation really needs some healing and to be brought together that we recognize that military service is not the only way to help people. And I did serve through Teach for America. I was a chemistry teacher and my analogy is that molecules need to collide in order to <laughs> react with one another. And right now we're not colliding with each other at all in our society. We're largely sitting on our couches on in our cyber bubbles and we're not able to see that everybody is really genuinely pretty much the same and we all uh, need to be more mission focused rather than uh, divisive in our in our politics. And, and, and Congresswoman, tell it. If I can yeah, just Congressman. add to that, I mean, this really came home for me when a veteran that I became very close with, a, an older veteran coming from the segregated South, told me that the first African American, the first black man he ever spoke to in his life was his bunkmate in the Navy, right? And then they became lifelong friends. So again, it's that forcing function in our society that. We've gotten away from, now that we've moved away from the draft, I don't think we should go back to that, but how do we incentivize all Americans to come together? It's also not just good for the individual. I think I'm a much better right. person and I'm a much better servant because I grew up in a military family, served and served again in Teach for America, and now I serve in Congress. But the force multiplying effect of that individual person of service on all the other lives that they touch as they reach out to their communities also is really impactful for the nation at large. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I am, uh, as a part of a military family myself, I am a better citizen and a better journalist uh, because of being part of that. And we appreciate you both so much for coming on to talk about this. Congresswoman Chrissy Houlihan, Congressman Michael Walsh, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you so for much. having us.